useless at this. I am useless. Hello. Hello, Jamila. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Stuart. Hello, Vampire Venom. Hello, FK. I am here. I am. Uh, I should be loud and clear now because I've set it up. I'm just having trouble setting up. I don't know why. I um, struggle. Put some fur on the table. I struggle with this technology. Still no sound. It should be okay. It says it's. Uh, it says it's coming through. Right. Hello. <laughs> rubbish. 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 I am awful at this technology. I will get better at it, but probably in the new year. Um. Right. Okay. So what? What's been going on, guys? What have you all been up to? I've had a re. <gasps> Jamila, happy birthday! Woo! Happy birthday, Jamila! <laughs> um, have you had a good day? Let us know what you've been up to. Um, so I haven't got round to looking at the YouTube comments from yesterday. So I did see one comment from um, Stuart. What did Stuart say? It was. It made me giggle. So, I'm going to see if I can find it now. And if I can find it, then I can put it on for you to see. This is not very organised of me right now. So, uh, um, I haven't got let's that on the mute. So, you can't hear me gas bagging to myself. Uh, everything's on mute. Was this yesterday? Is it 13th today? So, comments. for. Uh, so, we had Sandra. Sandra, you said. Oh, wrong one. You said, rotary cutter, keep the nap the same way to smooth and don't stretch. Don't ever pull on your fabric. That's right, Sandra. Press for 8 to 12 seconds for the tape. But remember, don't stretch your stretch, but still quite tight and poorly. Oh, can't remember the other tips for the stretch. 12 seconds, waft the fabric and, and keep the weight on the table, not dragging it down. Those are really important. They will definitely help you um, make sure that your fabric not weighted down, not dragging on it, and then you're sewing. My funny hair day, funny hair day. So um, I'm not weighting it all down and causing uh, it to drag off and uh, stretch your stretch your seams. Um, roll, uh, Stuart, roll cutters. Don't cut cask. Cat whiskers. They will get stuck everywhere they go. Don't cut on a glass mat. The blades won't last. Anything that has a glue residue makes a mess of the next job you do. And, and one for Abby, the brass end of the tape measure. I don't think I've cut them off. I think they fall off. Stuart, thank you very much. <laughs> and Velvet, do not pull or stretch. Be gentle and use a roll cutter as a first choice. It stops the curling. That's right. And for the uh, shoot you've put there as well, 10 to 12 seconds on the hem tape. Um, good, good, good. Right, so not a zillion answers. We're very quiet on our live shows. Let's have a look. Um, is the camera frozen? Oh, no, that, that's from yesterday's chat. That's from yesterday's chat. Hmm. See, this is this is why I'm technologically rubbish. That's um, my instructions on. I need to be more prepared, don't I? Being prepared means you are not going to have problems. To, right, let's see what you guys are saying. Whew. So, you can hear me. Cat's whiskers, can we see your jumper? Oh, the jumper's the same one. Nothing too um, different today. Oh, no, look, with the um, clips, I'll get, oh, right, well, yes, I believe they were being sold in um, Aldi, weren't they? Um, can I show you this? What on earth is this? Apparently, people used to make these things, they look like, you know, when you go skydiving, and you wear those um, parachutes, that your whole body parachutes, and you've got your arms and your legs and clothes, and so you can go for a full body width, and you're flying down and you can sort of guide yourself. That's what these are, made of fleece, uh, sacks in fleece, and that's what it will look like. Um, 
Uh, where's it gone? There you go. Can you see that? I'm terrible. Ter Stop it. Stop moving. There. Can you see that? That's what you'll be making wrong side there. But in that hideous fabric. I want to know where they got that fabric from in the first place. What is it? Oh, it's bears. Hideous. Okay. So, that was one pattern. This was another. Um. <coughs> oh, FK, if you've been cooking. Oh. Yeah, not sure about that one. And this one. Angels in the days that people used to make their own angels. Do you guys do that? I think hi Angie. Um I think my mother in law used to make them. Or oh, I think she's made one and it's just come out year after year. This is very much seventies. Let me just see when it was actually produced. It was because they do have dates on them. I think it was um sorry, nineteen ninety nine. No chance. There's no <laughs> In the 1999, you can see the date on there. 1999, just to give you evidence that people were doing things like this. When was this one made then, in that case? That, that I would say this was the 70s. But looking at the hair, it was a very 90s hairstyle. Awful. Anyway. Oh, soaring. That's it, yeah. Um... An angel. Oh, do you? But, I mean, I don't know if people do things like that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe people do. Anyway, I've got it, and I thought I might give it a go and put the costume on Barbie. What do you think? Oh, would you really? <laughs> oh, really, would you? Hmm. Well, I've, I've got it. I thought I'll make one. And then I found this as well. Uh, so this has got all sorts of things in there. So it's got a table runner, some bags and cushions and things. Um, yeah, it's got a cushion. I'm going to use this. I'm thinking, where on earth did I get these patterns from? I think I must have picked them up one day. I thought, how, how cool, I might make them. And then sanity hit and then I didn't. Anyway. That's it. Right, so let me just put that there as well. Okay. Um, I don't know what to make today. I was going to change my overlocker from the Juki and put the um, the really posh one there from Baby Lock, but I've not set it up, so I've not brought it down. I've I had to take it upstairs. My bedroom is full of fabric and machines at the moment because I've got nowhere to put them. So if I work in here, I need space. So um, thank you, Angie. Um, hi, Ali, you've joined us. Um, so who wanted this rotary cutter? I'm, do you know what? I'm not going to pick anybody because I'm, I didn't look and I said I would get somebody else to choose, so I'm not going to pick... So you still got a chance to win one if you want to win this rotary cutter and you're in the UK, sorry, Teresa. So it will go to somebody in the UK. Um, which one have you got, Ali B? Um, right, so, so what I thought I would do is with this sweatshirt, it's absolutely phenomenally huge. This is what I sewed up today. So I finally got around to actually sewing it. But I think I must have gone a bit delirious because I've made it absolutely phenomenally big. So, um, but then, I don't know. I've been working out. I've been, I was working out this morning and I thought, oh, really got to be prepared for um, Christmas um, snacks and things. But I've been really good. I've not been snacking out too much. Um, so, um, I need to hem that. So... The idea was I was going to put glitter threads in a glitter um, nylon. Oh, you've got the Enlighten. Well, that's the one I was looking at. Um, 
the enlighten i was looking at it at the local shop and they wouldn't let me buy it honestly they just wouldn't let me buy it i said i called baby lock up and i said they won't let me buy your machine why not i just thought why don't you want me to have that machine it's funny like i said to you i've gone to john lewis and then i had that incident uh, a couple of years ago where she just this woman just looked me up and down and she said to me, no, you'll struggle with that sewing machine. I think you're going to struggle with that sewing machine. I said, do you think so? She said, yeah. I don't know, Ali. I really don't know why Why they won't let me buy these machines. Do I look like I might struggle with a machine? I think I've got this overall. She does not look like somebody who sews. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't give off that sewing vibe. Um... Oh, Manda, well done. My knee's not working, this one. It's just decided not to work properly. Well, it is working because I'm stood up and I'm walking. But it's just decided that it's not going to, to work. Um, I've been tidying up a lot today. So I went down to the recycling centre through lots of cardboard boxes that I've had sitting around and um, just things just things that have been sitting around that keep needing to go somewhere like this I, I i do things this is a simplicity pattern that i blew up so um made it a lot bigger can you, can you guess what it is you can probably read what it says it was a huge teddy bear so I found that and I thought, right, I need to get some fur out and make a couple of um, big cuddly bears. Um, and that's the other half. So, so I made it big so, um, so I can make some for, you know, I said I'm making lots of gifts this winter. I'm going to be making. And these are good ideas if you're running craft fairs. I mean, maybe I should have told you these ideas months ago so that you could get them sewing. But um, that's something you can do. So if you've got yourself a pattern, um, then yeah. Um, right. Uh, do you know what? I don't want this. I'm just thinking. Um, Vampire Venom. If you want this, get in touch on Instagram, send me your address. I'm going to send this to you because I don't want it. You're in the UK, aren't you? Postal strikes, though, so if you get it before Christmas, you'll be lucky. Um, you'd think they would want to make sales. At... It's bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I just don't look like a sewer. So I've got all my Christmas fabric out. I mean, look how much fabric I've got. I've got to do something with it. We've only got... Um, not, well, we haven't got, uh, 12 days to Christmas. And Pete's going down, um, to his family this weekend to go and see them. So, um, I may or not, may or may not do, um, live shows, um, towards the end of this week. Because, busy. I wasn't thinking of um, doing one this evening because I'm feeling rubbish. I'm going to throw that pattern down there because it's because it's out of my way. <laughs> and what I am going to pick up is this. So let's have a look at our advent calendars. Um, ooh, makes kites. Can you put the teddy bear pattern in the description today? What's that in the description? Oh, do you want it? But Amanda, I think you're in the you're in the states, aren't you? What this? Oh, that teddy bear one. Oh, what for that rabbit? Uh, yes. Teddy bear pattern. Shall I write it down so I don't forget? Right. Okay. I'm gonna be organised. Got my notebook. I'm gonna write down Mandy Bear Pattern Vampire 
angel patterns. I should make them, shouldn't I? Um, and then I've got pick winners, pick winners. And then we've got to do something about um, uh, we've got we've got to do something about it. Um, just a tip, if any of you are around, no problem. In the UK, I don't know if they do this in the US as well, and they probably do, but we've got those, um, is it four uh, pattern houses? So you've got McCall's, you've got Vogue, you've got Birder, um, Simplicity, Butterick, and Vogue. Did I say that twice? Um, they form a sort of a conglomerate or sort of they sit under this umbrella company i've forgotten what it's called what what the three letters are npl i think it is anyway um they don't know what it's called but if you go to the website so direct.com you can buy the patterns off there and i joined their membership thing and every six months you get a free pattern but not only that it, all the patterns that you buy are reduced in price so that's a good tip if you buy lots of patterns so it's worth joining that um because patterns get really expensive don't they and go up to about 10 pounds a pattern nine ten pounds if you go on amazon and you're looking for something so if you wanted like for instance that bear pattern i think they only cost me four pounds when everybody was selling them for six or seven so that's a that's a tip worth noting um the pattern number that's what you want I think it's 8044. If you look it up now, um, 8044, you should see it on there. But it's come up as lots of different pattern numbers. Why do I know it up ahead? Oh, Dozy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, simplicity. Wrong way. There you go. Have you got it, um, uh, Amanda? It's there. Right, anyway, it's on the floor now. <laughs> Should we open our advent calendars? Uh, advent calendar 13. What do you think we're going to get today? Do you think it's going to be a match? Do you think we're going to get the same in both? 13, where are you? Can you see it? We've not got 13 today. Dun, 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 dun. That's three. Dun, dun, dun. Have I gone straight? There it is. Oh my gosh, Teresa, are they really? That's so expensive. It's a lot of money for a pattern, isn't it? This is why you need to make your own. What do you make? What do you make, Teresa, that we can help you with avoiding buying? Patterns, they're all full now. My phone isn't uh, up and running today, so it's acting a bit naughty. <laughs> I know, I can't do it any more safety pins. It's a seam ripper. Um, it's got some gunk on it, though. It's Don't look at my nails, please. I'm hiding them from you, but look at the gunk on that. So uh, I've got to clean it up. I'm not very... <laughs> I feel a little bit let down by this hemline. Uh, it, they've, they've got it a hemline gold as well. I feel a bit let down. I've never been a fan of... I'm going to be honest with you. I've never been a fan of hemline products anyway, in general. Um, that's 14. It feels heavy. Oh, I'm excited to find out what's... Uh, what's in there okay so it was a seam ripper we've already had our seam ripper in the print one haven't we so it's not going to be a seam ripper 13 let's see where we are it doesn't look like it's on that side there we go oh that's worth no that's worth noting right 13 oh <laughs> look at this uh, first it was this in that way. I'm going the opposite way. Nothing in there. <laughs> Do you remember yesterday I got two? <laughs> what did I get yesterday again? Um, 
it was safety pins, you know, it would be the safety pins. I got the safety pins and what was the other thing? It was two things, wasn't it? So I felt felt quite spoilt yesterday. So I think that's what's happened because I think uh, the packaging has gone all funny with me tossing it around. So really I should be keeping it somewhere safe. Let's put it over here. It's safe with my with my table runner, which is just gonna live there until I find some fabric that I can bind it with. And that's the other binder. Um what shall I do? So I was thinking I could make um I've put some glitter thread in my sewing machine and what I wanted to do was overlock the edge of this and then stitch it with um, glitter thread. So I might do that on Lucky 13. <laughs> Sandra, I think what happened is it, it turned up in yesterday's thing. Let's see. Um, oh. No, nothing exciting's going on. Just had, I just didn't get my uh, 13th. So it's, um, yeah, so I didn't get my 13th gift. So shall I just do that today? Shall I just overlock the edge of that and then um, fold that over? I still have this tape here. Um, do you remember I used this Stretch Fix T30? And actually, what I was planning on doing was wearing that T-shirt that I'd finished um, last night. And I, Well, I finished it after tea and went off and wore it and went, ooh, everybody, is that... Um, is that cool? And then wore it for the rest of the evening. And I was sorting out, like I said, some old patterns to get rid, just get rid of some clutter. Um, so I've been down to the charity shop as well. So I think I may have put it in the bag with the scraps, thinking it's just scraps. Um, things like that. Well, that's really good. That's really good. So I think I might just do that. Um. And you guys can just keep me company. That's it. Because um, I'm not going to stay on for too long today. I have other jobs I need to get on with. Because um, my son's coming up for Christmas. And his bedroom is filled with um, sewing things. Which need to be moved. So I've got to get that uh, get that all gone. So um, I don't know if I want to put that tape on it. It wasn't too bad. Do you know what I might do? Right, this is what I'll do. I am going to put this tape on. Yeah, I'm just thinking out loud. So I'll put that tape on, fold it over, and then think what I'm going to do. So... I've got some scraps there, um, which were nice. What's going on with the camera? Where have you all gone? Right, so this is, I thought this was a cat, but I don't have a brown cat. So B was sat on that earlier, she was playing with it. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. So I've got all this fabric that I need to do something with. I need some ideas. I was gonna make a pair of oven gloves. I need to make some pot. Oh no, I tell you what I was going to do. I'm going to make this pattern. So, another quilt pattern that I found. So, what do you think? Shall I cut this out as well? Should I do sewing or cutting? Um, making an elf shirt for my sister. What does an elf shirt look like? Come on then, what does an elf shirt look like? Uh, right, um, yeah, I mean, you've seen me overlook. Right, I know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hem this tape on this. I mean, you're not bothered, you're all chatting to yourselves anyway. Green with white collars, that sounds really nice. Um, we want to be that way. There we go. Sorry to move you around. Uh, 
I'm going to, to excuse my head. So, um, I think you were all here last night, see, so, see that's quite big, it's quite a big pattern. But actually, do you know what, sometimes you want big and snuggly, don't you? If I, I mean, if I really wanted to reduce it down, I could just take the sleeves off and uh, sew it in, but I think it'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is, um, Press that tape, she says, where have you put it? If I put, put that tape on and then I can go and sew it in a, in a moment. And you get five metres of this. So just for anybody who wanted to see what it is, is that too bright? I don't know if that's too bright. So it's like paper with glue on the back. I want to give this a go because I think it works really nicely. It wasn't too heavy, uh, which is what um, it could have been. And today I was looking up Mettler. I like the Mettler um, thread um, made by a company, a man. Um, and they've started doing this, uh, this thread. Uh, well, I mean, you may have heard of Mariflex. You see how bad my straight cutting is there. It's not very straight, is it? So I might trim it off in a minute. I don't realise how awful cutting is until you see, see this. So I'll just place this on there. Turn it the right way around. So Mariflex has a stretch to it. So that's made by Guterman. So Guterman um, Maraflex is supposed to be very, very good. Um, and then there's the Seraflex, and the Seraflex is made by Metla. So I've been trying to get hold of them today, but because of the strikes, it's been really difficult to get hold of. Uh, the postal strikes, it's hard to get hold of. Bad cutting. Never mind. Mm. And it looks like the front is a little bit bigger than the back as well. And put some steam in there. So Seraflex and Maraflex, um, I mean, I've been sewing for donkey years, stretch fabrics, and, you know, it's a technique, isn't it? Right, and there are certain stitches you can use, like the triple stitch or the lightning bolt, or if you don't have either of those, use a zigzag. Oops. So uh, a triple step zigzag, so you know the dotty zigzag, you can use those to give yourself a good stretch stitch. Ultimately a stretch stitch, it just needs to be able to like concertina, like it needs to, if it was zigzag um, then it sort of stretches doesn't it, but if it's straight it will pop, so that's what you're after. So even though I'm doing using this, um, I want a, a, a stitch at the bottom. Because I think it sort of gives it a finished look. Um, I was going to use some ribbing at the bottom of this top, but when I... I'd, um, I didn't buy enough of this fabric, so I've not, I've not got enough to make the ribbing. Okay, there we 
Kirche. Oh, did you find it, Teresa? Brilliant. Oh, Richie's joined us. Hi, Richie. Okay. Scissors. Because as Stuart says, we don't want to gum up our scissors with that. So give that a second to cool down. And just check that it's all stuck down nicely. It's not stuck down there. I'm glad I bought this table, it's really good. It's worked out really nice for me. Okay, there we go. So just overlap that. I've overlapped it on the paper, haven't I? Let's take that paper off. I'm not sure how successful this will be because it's pulling on the fleece fabric. Can you see this okay, everybody? And it's very lightweight, really lightweight. Now, I wasn't supposed to do that, was I? Because what I'm supposed to do next is fold it over. I did this last night. You're supposed to fold it over, use the paper to help you mark it, mark the edge of the fabric, of your hem. <clears throat> Let's just do a stage at a time. So I haven't taken the paper off this bit here. I've still got the paper on there. I'm hoping this glitter is going to last because sometimes you get these things, these fabrics, and the, the glitter washes away very quickly. I didn't do a pre wash test, I just decided it was fine. Um, and I guess it's not something you wear um, too often, is it? It's just sort of a crispy, sparkly thing. bit just use the paper to help me get that last little bit For those of you who are tend to be sensitive to um, the steam, which most of us are because we have nerve endings in our fingers, you can get these Teflon fingers, which are brilliant. You can actually touch the plate. Don't touch it for too long because it does get warm. 
Okay, so now I've got that all pressed down, so I've got the marking of the hem. Just check it's okay. I'm happy with how it all sits. Well, that's where I took it off, that's why. Okay, give that another press. The only problem is with this is the space underneath can get a bit damp. made sure I've got it over the table rather than over my mats. Okay, let's pull that paper off. Now you can um, fold that over now and press that down. But really what I should have done was overlock that edge. Um, and then press it down, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then do the same with the sleeves as well. Um, where are those scraps? I was going to check that. I don't have enough cord cuts on this. Really. Mm, actually, I think I do, don't I? It's a little bit smaller. And then you want to fold that over. Okay. So I could actually make um Find that with the scrub. She was here a minute ago, wasn't it? I'm not going to do Lally, am I? Is it underneath? No. Okay. It's right there. Um, hmm. there hopefully that's going to be big enough if it comes out to be really bad i'll just unpick them and then okay so they need to be sewn that way flipped over and then sewn on the edge of the sleeve and then with the neckline I haven't decided what I want to do um, because with the neckline with it being like this um, sometimes I add bias binding I was rooting through to find some of this fabric I was thinking about using the fabric from my son's sweatshirt on there um in fact i'm gonna go and see if i've got it so um
you there. <laughs> so I thought, actually, I, I had some of his sweatshirt left over, but I wanted to see if it matched, and I don't think it does match so well. So that tape that I'm using, Richie, is... Um, so I popped to see the uh, Visaline stand at, uh, a couple of weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, in Harrogate. And they suggested, when I spoke to them about stretch fabrics, that I sew a lot of stretch fabrics and I use the overlocker a lot. Um, and they asked, uh, so they suggested this tape, which they've said, they kindly said to one of you guys. So what it is, is um, basically a hemming tape, but it's really, really lightweight. I was very surprised actually. And I put it on a lightweight velvet yesterday and it's come out really nice. And you can still stretch, in fact, I don't want to stretch it too much before I've sewn it. Um, oh, do you? Um, I never use a stretch stitch ever. I really, so you stretch your fabric as it goes, but do you not get a wavy um, edge? Because you use your, um, you use your industrial machines, don't you? Uh, <laughs> Actually, Lisa, who's Lisa? How much is the width of the hem? So the width of the hem is, I think it's three centimetres, which is easy. Um, but normally what I would do with the hem, um, again, it would be really useful if I brought stuff down, isn't it? Uh, wouldn't it? From my wardrobe and show you. So let me show you this width with my core bond ruler tape measure so it's one and a quarter inch which is equivalent to because it's german they'll be exactly um three centimeters they, they've metric can't they or the europe's metric but we've decided that we're going to go back backwards and be like the states sorry guys <laughs> and we're going backwards, um, but be um, metric and imperial, so in school, yeah. But you have to industrial cover stitch machines. Oh, right, okay, I see. Uh, so it doesn't go wavy. Oh, no, because you've got a cover stitch machine, that's why. Okay, so I, I do have my cover stitch machines, and I was looking at them. Uh, earlier and thinking maybe I should use a cover stitch machine but the problem is every manufacturer I've spoken to talked about cover stitch machines Um, I said this before didn't I when I speak to a shop or a dealer um, last year I was uh, no earlier this year not last year it feels so long ago early this year I rang up quite a few dealers up and down the UK that's how I do my research and I said to them, what do you think about a cover stitch machine and are they popular and uh, they don't have them on display. Some of the dealers don't have them on display. You've got to go to a bigger dealer. And they don't have them on displays because they don't sell enough of them. I said, well, how much, excuse me, how much, how many do you sell? Um, we might sell one this month. We might sell one in a couple of months. So for that reason, I don't know if they've become more popular Um, yeah. Um, you've got an Elna cover stitch. Wow. I was thinking about getting that. I don't know how they work cover stitch machines. So in how do you know where to sew? Maybe I'll get the cover stitch machines out. Um, okay. Cuffs. So I've got that. I've got cuffs. I've got sewing. So maybe what I can do with this one, I'm going to throw it on the floor. Um, my floor's not too messy. In fact, you can see my floor. So what I'm going to do is um, I 
got the black velvet neck binding all on video. I've just not done the editing. I That one is with a rib binding, but using the binding, so it's bound, using the fabric. So I've used the velvet to bind the neckline. With this one, what I will do is I will do bias binding. Um, so I need to dig through my cupboard, find bias binding that will match. Um, I could use black, but if I've got some silver, which I have a feeling I've got some silver bias binding, which I'd like to use. I've put silver um, thread in my sewing machine over there. I've cut out the cuffs, as you can see. I've added tape to this. So I'm going to trim the whole of this in silver um, stitching. Um, just put in a stupid amount of effort to wear a parcel. Too light for digital people skills, but too big for the kitchen skills. Um, um, everyone's got them now. There's a domestic cover stitch machine, which so the same as industrial cover stitch. It's the brother C three. Uh, that's the machine I've, I've got. That's the one I've got, actually, Richie. Um, uh, do you think it's as as good as an industrial? Because lots of people have reviewed it uh, to me, and they've said, uh, "No, it's not that great." Uh, for me to, as you sew on the right side as, as far as I have seen and I can't see where the hem is right well do you know what I will get the brother cover stitch machine out and I'll work on that um, but it's interesting Richie that you've mentioned that one and you're quite pleased with it because people I've spoken to um, you know and I actually bought it second hand I didn't buy it brand new do you Ali what do you think of it Uh, Ali, uh, with with the brother one, do you how how well do you race it? I'm going to be honest with you. I've not sewn with with the cover stitch machines very much at all. I just sort of plug them in, tried them out, made sure they were working, and then uh, that was it. Really, just just did a little bit of a uh, uh, thing with it. But really, what I want to do, I want to use up this Christmas fabric, and I've had this pattern drawn thinking what pattern is that uh, this pattern drawn that I want to make for a while you're scared to death of it Ali that's not a good thing <laughs> right that's not a good thing I'm not going to stay on for too long now I'm not going to stay on for too long because um I've not been feeling great and I don't I don't want to stand up for too long On Insta, and I sent some pictures last night. With her. Ah, I did see some pictures, but I, 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 I was busy. What was I doing? I was busy at the time. I think I was out shopping. I've had a really busy day. I don't realise how busy my day is until I sort of think about it later. So I'm going to, I'm going to do. When I work with five inch square, I'm going to do some uh, patchworking now. Um. When I work with five inch squares, I think they come out to be a nice good size. So my Christmas fabric is all sort of higgledy piggledy in colour wise. Um, so I'm gonna go with it anyway. So what I've done is I actually hemmed one of it. Is that too bright? That that looks really, really bright that. I put um I had these den label on it when I gifted these tea towels, you know, how sad am I, um, to the children. So I did this a couple of years ago and I used a silk finish. That really looks bright. Is, it, is that too much? Oh, Teresa, I'm <laughs> just busy mum. It's having kids, it's not having kids, it's just being a busy mum. I'm a busy mum. Uh, and having too many cats is not a great thing either. These, I've just realised, I thought I'd made all my Christmas crackers. These are for my Christmas crackers. So 
I need to finish those off as well, don't I? We just picked up my pile of um, my pile of so it, oh we've got a visitor. All right, if you come say hello. Mm hmm. You come and say hello. <laughs> right. Uh, if you sit on that keyboard, we might lose people. And then what will we do? Okay, off you go. Go on. It is pretty bright, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know if that that makes a difference. That does make a difference, doesn't it, mittens? That makes a huge difference. Are you okay? Have you come for some love? Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? A bit of love. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh my god, Richie, why? We have four. You would hate coming around here. You would hate it. Because I'm a bit cat mad. Oh, Tiger's there as well. Tiger might join us. Tiger doesn't come on my sewing table, which is a good thing because he's a really hairy cat. <laughs> uh, right, okay. That's a good idea, va Vampire Venom. Um, we had to do that with a parcel, actually. So weigh yourself and then pick up your parcel and then weigh yourself and then just do the math. Take, take the heavier one away and that's what your parcel weighs. Colour, colour. That's still bright. I thought it got better. I thought it was better. Right, that's, that's what we've got now. That's, that's what we're dealing with. So, I need for my pattern, I don't know if you can see that, I need one, two, three, four colours, and then I've got background colours. So I've got one, one, two, three, ooh, 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 ooh. Or maybe that could be the, what about those four? Do you think that works? And then that can be the background colour. I mean, does it matter? <laughs> this is why my things look hideous. Because I don't spend time colour matching. I just use what I've got. I mean, I think that goes well. Does it? Uh, oh my gosh. Richie, I don't think anybody's going to come round to your house if you have dogs that bite people. <laughs> right, okay. So, I mean, that, they're not too far off. Teresa, what do you think? Or what do any of you think? What do you think? Hmm. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I'm, I'm going to just do... Um, I've got to work this out now. Let's do some sums. Are you watching me on the camera? So, what I have right now is a cat watching himself. Are you watching, Mittens? <laughs> so that last design that I made was brilliant. So, you dare go near that keyboard. You know what's going to happen. We're going to lose everybody. So if we suddenly disappear, you'll know why. We all know why. Do you think I should split the blue ones up? Like that. I think so. I just want to get, get them used, that's all. I mean... I mean, they just don't, they just don't. Because these have all got white in them and then that one doesn't have white in it. That one does. And then the red goes with the red. And then we've got red in there, we've got red in there. Um, what do you think? Um, excuse me, <laughs> what did you say, Jamila? <laughs> what 
What was that? <laughs> Cute and loving mittens. Right, I need some colours. I mean, I should really do this without... I should have it prepared. But then it's nice, because you get to see the thought process behind these things. Um, just pull the sheet off. It's nice square paper. As you can see, supplied by Visalini. Um, I'm going to zoom in, Mittens, what do you think? Uh, I've not used Jolly, no. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it. Uh, thanks, FK. <laughs> I am. I'm just going to go with it. Um, so, one, two, so it's three squares. Um, one, two, three, four, five. 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 It's worth doing, counting it down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five there, five there. One, two, three, four, five. Have you used jelly patterns, Richie? What do you think of them? They're the ones that do all the leotards and things like that. Is that right? Stretch fabrics. Australian brand, I believe. Is that right? Oh, it's a tunic. Oh, right. Okay. Hi, Yolanda. Oh, wow. Oh, what are you making, Richie? Machine embroidery. Sounds good. Right, another pan. Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to split that one up. Now I'm going to get this right this time. Because what I did last time... So these are all crosses is I've got to do the squares so all the squares are going to be measured so each one has got to allow for a seam allowance doesn't it so we've got that going on okay so we're going to choose Christmas puddings what color is Christmas puddings we'll have that one so let's do that Christmas pudding. So we've got that square and that square, and then this square here. Like that. Okay. I should put all these on my website actually, pa accessible patterns, you've got access to them. Um, and then next one is the reindeers. Reindeers are in red. That's not really red, is it? What do you think? Do you think that's red? Is that red? What do you think? I'm not sure are you mittens? Okay, so let's have this one as the reindeer fabric. So that's that one there. Who's that come in? Some, I, hear, I heard a cat. Oh, Peaches. Peaches likes to join in with our sewing. Almost like vermin. You and you. Okay. Um, so we've got our Christmas pudding. We've got our reindeer. Then we will have our snow dogs. What colour should we do our snow dogs? We've got a bit of pink in there. What about that one? Do you like that one? Um, 
let's make it a bit more distinct what other colors we've we got orange in there let's go with the orange my oranges are all dull okay so that's the orange so i've got two little triangles there in orange I've got a little triangle there in orange, a big triangle there in orange, and then I've got a little triangle there in orange. And I was just thinking about it, that doesn't need to be there, that line. And that line doesn't need to be there either, really. Which means that line doesn't need to be there. Um, I don't like that line doesn't need to be there either. Mm, it's a bit too late to delete. Delete. That's half a triangle. That's half a triangle. That's half a triangle. And there we go. Half, half, a little and a little. So we need so mittens. Are you paying attention? We need two half triangles and two quarter triangles. So that's a half and a half, a quarter and a quarter. We've got a half, a half there, got like that, and a half there, a quarter and a quarter triangle. And then we've got our snowman. Should we put green for our snowman? Because he's got green in there. Right. So we've got a quarter. We have a quarter. Is that right? And we have a half triangle there. I don't like this green. Okay, so that's our pattern. We've got for each one, we have two half triangles and two quarter triangles. Okay, Right, okay. Oh, wow. Richie. Oh, the quattro. Oh, right, yeah. Okie doke. So, and then we've got our background fabric, which is going to be that beigey stuff. But I don't know if that will look good. What do you think? Should we do it? We need a beigey colour. And that's going to be one full quarter. That's another quarter. That's another, sorry, half. That's a half. So we need four halves of those and one, two, three, four quarters. So we'll make our key here. I don't know how other people do it, but this is the, the only way I can think about doing it for myself. Okay, so we're going to have um <clears throat> we're gonna have these squares here so oh daisy i'm gonna have to sew quarter quarter oh Right, okay. But I don't want to cut my pieces in triangles. The reason I don't want to cut them in triangles is because it's easier cutting these in squares and sewing them next to each other. And then, where are you? Who are you barking to? Daisy's barking. I don't know. Daisy's up and about. 
Okay, so what <laughs> you two are still watching, aren't you, intently? Um, I'm absolutely fascinated by what they think is happening. Oh, she's watching the iron. Uh, right, okay. You can keep your pencils over here. Come on, out of the way. Okay. You're purring at me. Okay, so I'm going to do... Oh my gosh, Tiger, we're here. Who are you meowing at? <laughs> so we've got a bay, so I'm going to do beige, beige squares. So we've got four beige triangles. Okay. Beige. I have to think about this. I hope you guys don't mind me doing this. This is what we do when we sew. So we've got four beige and they are going to be sewn with a brown and then uh, so I'm going to need one. <laughs> Why do I hate math so much? Uh, a brown, an orange, a red, and a green. Where's my green gone? Did I put the green back? Did I? <gasps> Where did it go? Mittens. Where did it go? What have you done with the green? I need to do some sharpening, don't we? I've just picked that one out, it didn't work. Let's have that as green then. Do you like that one? Yeah. That's not a very good green, I don't like that green. And I keep picking that one out. Oh, for goodness sake, it's green, these are green. Okay. I'm sure it's under there somewhere. Never mind, so have you dropped it on the floor? You haven't. Okay, so we've got to have one of those each. It doesn't take up a lot of um, squares, but if I'm going to make four of these, or a few of these, then I can cut quite a lot out at the same, uh, a lot at the same time. So let's do another one there. Okay, so that's those corners done. And then we've got the middle ones, which are all like this. So that one's brown. Brown with green. And a beige, okay. What have I done with my beige? I'm <laughs> gonna put it back again. Did I put it back? It can't be that one. Hmm. She's not taking this seriously. I need to stop putting things back. Stop putting them back. I'll just press it lightly. I'm just using pink instead. So that's that one. That one is a green. So that's green. And then we've got the orange. And that's the beige. There. 
So it's a case of rotation. So that one's orange, red and beige. So, um, so the big one's orange. Go clockwise is red and then that will be... Uh, that's orange. It's opposite side, so that's going to be beige. That's red. And that's orange. I can't see mittens. And then the last one is going to be red. And then when you flip, that one's red. And then um, next to the red. It would have been easier if I'd done the squares that way round, wouldn't it? And then brown is next to it, so flip that round. That's the brown. And it matters because of the orientation, because if I do the brown on the wrong side, I will end up with the brown over there and the beige over there. So I need to make sure I do these correct. Okay. So it would have been better if I'd drawn the orientation the right way. Um, got those. So it's a case of. So that one is going to flip round, and then it should look like uh, that. So with the brown and the beige. So brown and the beige. Then I've got the orange. So that orange, red, and red and beige and then the green so green with the orange so if i flip that round the green has to go on that corner and then we've got the orange and the beige so it would be better to draw the uh, the shapes that way actually so if i just drawn the shapes that way like that so then that would have been just to confirm it red beige and brown and then that way it probably wouldn't be as confusing because i've just rushed it through let's go with that one so that one's brown Beige and green. And can do this square here. So we've got our orange that goes across. that's there that's all the way there that's that one um uh, sure oh, this makes it messy and then the last one is going to be this one here so the stripe goes across there with the half there and we've got the green orange and beige okay so we can ignore that line and we can just carry on with that. So we've got, we need those, we need those. And then we need, of course, the centre. Which is all four colours incorporated. So we'll have, uh, and again, you need to make sure you stick to the colour. You can't have the green over here by accident. And then 
none of them match and then we've lost the design um and then brown okay how are we doing for time guys i think uh i think um that's that so um you can you can do plain fabrics you can do um which is quite nice it's, i think that's quite sorry that's quite a lovely design i think it's really eye catching and then having a a border around it um yeah choosing a good color so it's it's choosing good colors really this is another thing you have to consider is how you're going to piece them all together so how would you how would you um piece this together with the next panel if you put um, you know a few around and then I think it's quite striking design Stuart there isn't in some of the <laughs> make it so complicated so anyway so I've got those pieces of fabric in fact it this is why quilting is so hard I find it so easy um, I find it so easy to make a dress, make a pair of trousers, put a zip in, an invisible zip in. Um, yet I can't, I, I find quilting, um, I can't get my head around quilting. It's a little bit of sums going on, isn't there? So um, if I made all these five by five squares, then I'm going to lose, I've lost my pencil. If I make these all five by five squares, then those squares end up being um, four and a half inches. Sorry, four, uh, yeah, they end up being four and a half inches because you lose, um, you lose your edging for the seams. And then these end up, so you have to then consider the sizes of these individual pieces that you're going to sew together to get them all. So I think what I might do is how do I sew all these together? And we'll have to do some thinking. We're gonna have to do some thinking. Um, I'm gonna get Jasmine to pick out all the. Um, I'm gonna get Jasmine to pick out all the uh, the winners for yesterday, oh. and then she groaned. <laughs> and then I'm going to get um, cracking with this sewing I like to make baby quilts but just get a square or an embroidery pattern in the middle and then sew it together yeah oh Stuart that's awful call you that's not it's quite a serious thing isn't it some people my my brother was really really poorly with covid um intensive care when we were at that stage where we didn't know people would make it through isn't it awful? You're not that old, Jamila. Stop it. Happy birthday. Have a lovely evening, guys. Uh, hopefully you've been, uh, you know, with your Sherlock Holmes and your super sleuth pipes. Be good. Behave. I've got peaches here. Peaches, what have you done to this mat? I love this mat. I'm so pleased I bought it. Um... It is. This is something I will be doing later this evening. I'm going to be making this and I'll put it together and then I'll work out the sums and then I'll blog it. I will blog it all. I will record me doing that. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think of things to do in the video. Tell me what you want to uh, watch me sew. 
give me an idea. I still I still want to make those trousers, which I've got here. So I've got to get on with that. Um, and I want to play with my um, sewing machine. I'm sorry I've been late. I've just been busy and just doing things and living life. Um, what day is it today? Gosh, is it only Monday? No, it's Tuesday. It's Wednesday tomorrow. Have a lovely day, guys. A evening and have a lovely day tomorrow. Um, I think, did you? Sent me some ideas on Insta. Do that. Go on Instagram and uh, send me some uh, comments of what you'd like to see. Have a lovely evening, everybody. I'm going to go and do some stuff.